it comes to ending FGM and child marriage, we won't get anywhere if we don't involve religious leaders and traditional leaders. Like you said, they are the custodians of our tradition. And people listen to them more than they listen to even governments and laws. Traditional leaders and faith-based organizations are key stakeholders in eradicating violence against women and girls as they have a greater chance of influencing societal norms and practices. I ensure that there is equity in the way we handle issues. For example, equity in the positions, equity in the acquisition of natural resources, and we also eradicate gender-based violence as well as other vices that are detrimental to national development such as child marriages, teenage pregnancies, and so forth. Through the Council of Traditional Leaders of Africa, Kotler, UN Women has been working with traditional leaders, encouraging men to join and support protecting women's and girls' rights to live in a society free of all forms of violence and discrimination. Um, we need to be leaders who are responsible for our actions and the actions of those around us and to show strength all the time to people and not to give up and not to give in to any of the circumstances that we're being faced with. And with us being strong, it means we show our people that they too can get through it. Through positive masculinity, men can help create safe spaces for survivors and hold perpetrators and governments accountable. We're saying no. We want our children to go to school. We want to educate our children, especially girls. There is no just cause for violence against women and girls. Everyone in society has an important role to play, including you and me. We must all work together to give women and girls a brighter future.